Well, 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 what is this? Another NECA figure? Yeah. So, today I'm going to be reviewing the 2017 Pennywise. Um, I don't know whether this is called the Ultimate Edition. If you look for it on um, listings, particularly on eBay, they just call it the It 2017 Not Final Edition. But uh, this was the first Bill Skarsgård Pennywise NECA figure, I do believe, to be released. And as you can see, you've got the post-get image from It Chapter 1. Yeah. With their little Georgie and Pennywise. Hooray. On the side, we've got a nice lovely picture of Bill Skarsgård. Again, NECA. And It. On the back, again on my one, the box is bashed a bit uh, here. I was able to get £2 back on this one. Not quite as good as what I did on the Bride of Chucky, but that one was a lot more expensive than this. So this basically, and I do like the way they've done it, in different balloons, is showing Pennywise figure in the various different poses you can do with it. And we've got... A really bloody short uh, write-up for it, and also stuff that the figure includes. On the bottom is again credits for the figure. On the other side, same picture Pennywise. Image on the top. And if we open it up, it gives us a nice display of uh, the figure. Oh dear, my dog is coughing. Are you alright, son? Are you alright, Bobby? Oh. He's appalled that the box was bashed. But yeah, we've got a nice image of uh, the figure there, and also Pennywise's uh, haunted house, if you'd like to call it, in the background. And it does show off the figure and its accessories really nicely, and it is bloody large as well. But Pennywise is pretty... Well, Bill Skarsgård is pretty tall, and he's propped up even taller in the Pennywise uh, costume, so yeah. But anyway, uh, let's get this figure out of its box. And take a look. Okay, so here we have uh, the figure itself, and as you can see, I've got him posed holding Georgie's boat rather than holding the balloon, just to be a little bit different. Yeah. So uh, we'll take a look at Georgie's boat uh, later on, and take a look at the figure itself. So the main head that I do like, and this is not the one that is packaged with it, if I remember rightly. This is the smiling head. And it is clearly the best head in the box. Yeah, it really does, well, look like Bill Skarsgård. It really does capture his likeness, particularly in the cheekbones with the wide smile. And also with the eyes being in slight, very slight different directions from each other. Because he can do that because he has a lazy eye. Yeah, that's when having a lazy eye is an advantage because you can make yourself look a bit creepier. So you can see here the orange hair, which um, is initially a dark orange with a lighter orange wash put over the top. And uh, yeah, it does look re really nice. You can see the whole shape of it is really accurate to how it was in Chapter 1. And oh dear, focus has gone away. There we go. You can see uh, also is... Um, I don't know, it's... Victorian, I guess they're trying to go for, or to be honest, it looks a bit more Georgian ish. Georgian, Victorian sort of a neck piece here with all the little frills in it. And what I love about this is that it's clearly molded in a sort of um, grey colour, the, the same as the rest of the body, but then it's been given a white and a darker grey wash with even sort of bits of yellow in there to make it look sort of uh, old and dirty. The rest of his body, though, I mean, is pretty much pretty clean, to be honest. Um, though, to be fair, in Chapter 1, it is pretty clean. It's only in Chapter 2 where his uh, costume gets pretty dirty. So, if we take a look at the torso here, we can see the three pom-pom buttons, which are slightly off to the side, which is how it should be. I initially thought, oh, that must be an error, but no, they are slightly off to the side. You can see also uh, the big puffs uh, of the costume around his shoulders there, nice, big and puffy. Rotate it around the back.
back we've got a little detail of um it almost looks like a corset really uh, around the back here with the sort of zigzags and everything so yeah that's all nice uh, i'm trying not to knock him over Round here we can see the cuffs and that round his hands and again uh, clearly the, they've been moulded in a white uh, PVC plastic but they've been painted with a, well actually no they've been moulding grey and then they've been giving a dirty white and a yellowish tone to make it look like well an old shirt so yeah his frilly shirt is uh, poking through and you can see even the little uh, ties that we've got round here which is uh, basically because um, there's no cuffs on it, so these are basically replacements for cuffs to stop his arms from wailing around in them. But again, looks all really nice. Turning down to the crotch section, you can see again all nice, uh, big and puffy, and you can see all the little details from there. Taking a look at the legs, well, the legs have a similar detailing uh, to them to the rest of the body, uh, particularly the arms. Again, looking really good, and also uh, really pretty well hiding uh, the knee joints. Being made all of grey plastic uh, really does help with that. Again, a similar thing with uh, the cuffs at the at here at the shin joint. Almost, we've got the same thing uh, again. And yeah, these just look incredibly detailed. And of course, the clown shoes, which again are made to look the same as from the era. We've got pom-poms on each, and again, they've added a nice dirty wash to them to make them look, you know, old and worn, and not from this era, but yeah, again, the best part about it is obviously that face, and you can even make him look down and everything, which is a good time to turn to the articulation. So, the head is on a ball joint, yeah, and also uh, the collar piece here yeah, this co this uh, collar piece is actually removable. Yeah, so if you don't want him with the collar piece on there, then you can. Though he is going to have a really long white neck. Which could actually add to the creep value of it if you want. Uh, apologies for a bit of a cut there. Um, my camera actually ran out of battery during that bit. But hey, I swapped in a new one. So let's continue. So yeah, the head is on a ball joint. The arms are a ball joint, but can't go out too far mainly because well this that is stopping it from doing it they can do a 360 though and uh, the arms are actually double jointed so he can literally lick his own fingers if he wants to and again they are ball jointed so you can put them in there are various of poses the hands are also ball jointed but again are pretty hindered by the cuffs they can swivel through 360s as well there is an ab crunch, and which can also rotate, presumably around a 360, though I won't do it, uh, just because you're probably going to split it here at the back if you do so. The legs, it's a T-crotch uh, joint, so it can go out to the side a bit and forward a bit. Again, hindered uh, by this piece here. The legs are double jointed, so yeah, he can just about kick himself up the arse with this one. And they do have a swivel joint as well. And uh, the shins do have a slight uh, ball joint so they can go side to side a bit. And a little bit up and down just to give him a bit more stability when you're standing him up in creep town time. I don't know what that means but hey, whatever. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's take a look at the accessories. So I showed jo Georgie's boat uh, briefly before. But uh, let's have a good look at it now, shall we? Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm going to put it here and hold it. So yeah, there's Georgie's boat. And, and I have no idea where the fuck that went. So give me a minute. 